Traditional financial metrics and accounting measures, such as return on investment and earned value, do not support making investments in innovation and business agility. Eric Ries, the author of Lean Startup and the Startup Way, sums it up this way. To truly transform our organizations and our way of working, we need to change our accounting systems too. We need a better approach, one that allows teams to quickly validate assumptions, accelerate learning, and drive a continuous flow of value. This is precisely what innovation accounting does. Innovation accounting allows us to make faster, more reliable investment decisions and considers two basic questions. Number one, is our work achieving the desired outcome? And two, how do we know? To answer these two questions, we need to use leading indicators. These are actionable metrics that measure early results and are good predictors of future business outcomes. Some popular examples of leading indicators are Dave McClure's pirate metrics and Google's heart metrics. These outcome-oriented metrics enable a fast feedback loop that reduces investment risk and allows us to make critical pivot or persevere decisions based on real value to the business. These are much better than output-oriented metrics, such as number of features delivered, number of bugs resolved, program velocity, and similar metrics that focus more on measuring the amount of work completed than the amount of value delivered. Finally, innovation accounting cautions strongly against the use of vanity metrics. These are metrics that make us feel good, but do not measure real value. These are outputs or outcomes that are easy to capture, easy to manipulate, and often grow naturally over time, such as number of downloads, user registrations, raw page views, hits, and clicks. Vanity metrics can change with context, so just be careful. Innovation accounting is a critical part of the continuous delivery pipeline. It helps us identify the metrics that will most accurately and objectively measure the business value of our products and production and fuels the rapid learning cycles we need to quickly pivot away from bad investments and persevere with good ones.